Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Gary Hall from Exodus and formerly from Slayer, and you're listening to The Razor's Edge. It's Kat from the Razor's Edge, we're on the final day of Bloodstock on the home stretch and I'm here with Dead Flesh, you're playing later on. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Oh, well, uh, I'm Nelly the drummer, I love drums. I'm Chris the guitarist and I love guitars. <laughs> so you're a five-piece from Hertfordshire, is that yes, right? Yeah, right. and you're also playing a bit of Deathcore later for us, are you? We are indeed. Yeah, we bring in the heavy. So what can we expect? We want people to come and see you later, what are you going to give us? We're going to have blast beats, we're going to have fight riffs, we're going to have breakdowns, we're going to have headbanging, we're going to have, yeah, just everything. We're going to have everything. And the kitchen sink. Yes, especially Brilliant. the kitchen we're, sink. We're heavily inspired by a, a poet from the 2000s called Christina Aguilera, and we're going to be going dirty and filthy. Dirty. Okay. Dirty. 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 Right, so that, oh, I've got to live up to that now, no chaps. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, that's that, that's that big high chaps aim. to fill there. Yeah. They have the big chaps to fill. Yeah, love it. So you've had a busy year. We've had your EP come out. Yes. How was that process for you guys? How do you actually get into kind of writing and then getting that out to us to listen to? What's your process like? A lot of it. I mean, writing. Usually, me and Nelly mm. get in a room. We'll just jam, have some fun. Every now and then, it's like, oh, that was quite cool. Yeah. We'll just yeah. build a song around that. We spend months working on it, just tweaking things, moving things, deleting it, starting again. Yeah. <laughs> Perfectionist, then, yeah. Yeah, I kind of it. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a great mix between what, when we then bring other people into it, and then they start laying down some ideas too. So we end up getting a whole band eventually involved in it. And then when Rich lays out some vocals, and then it's nice, and we think we've got some magic. And then two weeks later, Chris will come back and have changed a few more of the ideas, change some of the riffs around, and then it's actually better because of it. But it's like, oh, now I've got to relearn the song like what I've done. <laughs> it's so constantly. It's like a layered process almost for you guys, isn't yeah, it? You're kind much. of building it. There's always an evolution. Layout. To it. yeah. It's constantly yeah. evolving, trying to make and it isn't the best. Isn't that great? Yeah, and it, it does give a completely different dynamic to what I've used to with other bands I've worked in compared to where you normally have a particular focused songwriter who gives you a song. Mm. This seems to come just out of nowhere and it's, it's really fun to watch it come together. It feels like a much more natural process writing with this. I feel like this is the best stuff we've written because of that. What's funny but, is I bet if there's anybody in their 50s or 60s listening to this they'll be like, that's just how we used to do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm raising my hands. I mean, you don't look it. You could come again. <laughs> so the other exciting news we heard from Tom is you've signed to a US-based management company as well. Tell us a little bit about that. I mean, that's really, you know, that's really good. Yeah, no, they, they're very helpful. Uh, so mm-hmm. like, last month is when we signed with them pro- officially. And now just having that access to someone who has all this information, who has a wealth of knowledge, and we can just go to him with our stupid ideas and be like, is this something that could work? And he can then filter out the ones that are not so good or he knows won't work having experienced it and can help guide us with the ones that maybe are not as matured enough or put together enough uh, for the ones that we're kind of piecing together and then guide us in the right direction it's it's really nice to have that kind of conversation so basically you're bringing in the right kind of team behind you to get you to where you want to go exactly sensible yes no thank you for summarising that much better than I did (laughs) that's fine that's what I'm here for As you might be able to tell, I like to talk in essays, and then Chris will also do the same thing, which is narrow it down to a nice, short-form sentence. Not a problem. (laughs) It it sounds like you're all moving kind of in the right direction, doesn't it? You've got this team now, and you just need to get to where you want to go. Yeah. We're trying. Trying to get there, yeah. Yeah, just knocking on doors, and hopefully people open up the doors. A little bit like this weekend, where you know the idea of being able to compete and melt to the masses and win that and be... Which is one of the things I love about Bloodstock is that there's a massive platform here which they are willing for little nobodies like us to turn up to and use it as a means of not only just talking to people like yourself who we wouldn't necessarily get the access to outside of, but also the fact we're playing with fans. I don't worry, Tom would harass us. Yeah. He's doing his job. He's a lovely man. But it's the fact that we're able to, you know, play alongside big established bands as well. Yeah. And they, you know, Bloodstock loves the fact that, you know, a bunch of nobodies can turn up and we can try and, you know, convince people to come and watch. And that's the other side of it, Bloodstock too, is that most people here will turn up to New Blood regardless of who's there because they like the idea of finding the fresh next thing. Yeah, I mean, that grassroots thing is really important because we're going through a period, I think, in music where a lot of the older bands 
are going to stop touring mm. and yeah. playing the Wembleys of the world. And there needs to be people coming up. It's, yeah. a, it's a natural cycle, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, big festivals actually are engaging with that and pushing that. Yeah. And it's just part of the ecosystem rather than the flash thing. Actually, yeah. it's only going to help build everything else. Definitely. So what can we expect from you guys in the next 12 months? What's going to happen after this like springboard of, of playing here? Well, we've got some, uh, a few shows lined up. We're playing Granbury in Oxford in... End of the month, 31st of August. We're heading over to Ireland in a few months' time. Doing 16th and 17th of November. Comedy duo in the for your money. <laughs> we were constantly writing new music. We've, so we're planning some more singles, maybe another EP later in the year, next year. Yeah, the we're, writing phase is back up and running again now. So it's, uh, it's seeing can we piece enough things together can we then have something ready for next year and hopefully see what happens brilliant so for anyone listening I always do this with everybody where can they find your stuff let us know you know your sites your YouTube everything oh lovely so you got we definitely got the Spotify brilliant we've got Apple Music we've got other streaming services that are available all the good ones all the good ones even the bad ones <laughs> uh, I think Bandcamp you can find Bandcamp uh, is where all our merch sits yeah. well, otherwise you can find us all the usual places Instagram Facebook TikTok all that stuff yeah surprisingly we have a TikTok I don't know what that is but Chris does I mean that's a stretch I thought it was I'm, a clock I'm making it work <laughs> I'm posting see what happens <laughs> you've got to try it you lads that's it you've got to try it just give it a go definitely well good luck for later and it's been lovely chatting with you thank, thank you very so much, much you no problem take care thanks for listening Make sure you keep up to date with future episodes by subscribing to our channels. For more information on this podcast, or for all the latest music news, reviews, interviews and more, head over to our website, www.therazorsedge.rocks.